Martinez is one of only a handful of medical experts who specialize in stigmata. He's been called on twice by the Catholic Church to officially investigate stigmata's authenticity. He has also looked into a number of lower profile cases on his own, two of which he believes to be legitimate. An authentic stigmatic is one who has the wounds that cannot be explained biologically. This time, Martinez has a rare opportunity. Elizabeth is bleeding, and Martinez wants a sample of her blood. The cross on Elizabeth's forehead is not the typical mark of a stigmatic. It's not a wound that Jesus received in his final hours. But to Martinez, it's just as interesting. There's some things that seem compatible with what I've seen before, and there's some very new things. Like the cross is very new. The way that the blood is dripping is very new. I think that there's something here that is legitimate that's worth looking into. Elizabeth explains to Dr. Martinez that she has received the more familiar marks of Christ in the past. The first time was May 2003. I came to my living room and started my prayers. I asked Jesus to give me a sign so I would know what to do in my mission. I started to see a very beautiful light, and all around me became blurry. And then I saw the face of Christ. My heart was pounding. I could see his crucifixion, the suffering. I fell into a state of ecstasy, and I felt pain. I opened my eyes and was scared because I was bleeding. So I went to the bedroom to wake my husband. I turned on the light to see her bleeding. The first thing I thought was that she had cut herself with something and touched her forehead. But after I saw the cross forming, I began to be astonished. Martinez will test if the wound on Elizabeth's forehead is real and sample her blood to see if anything abnormal is coursing through her veins. Rare and strange as Elizabeth's case may be, though, she is not alone. 